Okay, the next question comes from Allison Koyanagi. Allison, you're going to have to make sure I know I'm pronouncing your name right. Allison says, one of my clients is asking, is there a way to measure their brand building efforts online that we're helping them to build social media? It's not as tangible as calculating ROI per customer. So is there a way to attribute revenue to brand building somehow or show numbers to prove the brand building efforts are working using our social media strategies? Thanks for your time. She's a digital marketing agency. So next time you ask a question, just say, is there a way to provide a client tangible analytics that show return on investments in our branding efforts? That's the question. Then you can give background in the business description and, 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 uh, and context. Okay, Allison, I have a friend who owns a billboard company in Los Angeles, California, and he's the largest independent billboard company um, in, a, in, in that area, which is one of the biggest areas. I always ask him this question, dude, how are people spending $50,000, $100,000 a month to have a billboard on Sunset Boulevard. How did they measure the return on investment? And he's like, Sean, I've been answering that question forever. When you are in marketing and you understand marketing and branding, those people that do it, they don't need me to give them the tangible results. They just know that getting their, their message and their brand in front of eyeballs is going to attribute to more leads in their business. When I place an ad, when I put a billboard on Sunset Boulevard, their website traffic goes up. You know, their name recognition goes up, which is what branding is all about. It's, it's, it's engaging with your audience. And the only way to engage with your audience is for them to see you. So marketing, it's very challenging for marketing and branding awareness type of things to, to have a tangible ROI. But people that understand it, they get it. And I don't have to sell them on that. Um, this is one of the things that's great about Facebook advertising is if you work with a good Facebook advertising company, they want to be all about the numbers and all about the analytics and all about the data. So they want to know how many people clicked on the ad, how many people clicked on the buy button, how many converted, how many left, what the customer lifetime value is. It's easy to get those analytics. Putting ads on social media, uh, doing um, a billboard, doing a radio station, doing an article, doing a blog, it is impossible to provide a tangible um, ROI on that. What I would do is I would, since this is not my expertise, I would talk to people like Peter, who I'll have answer this question. I would talk to high level digital marketing people or, or yeah, digital marketing or marketing brand awareness companies and figure out what kind of script you can write because you know now this is going to be a question you're going to get from clients. I would have a well-prepared script. Feel, felt, what's the word? Feel, felt, found. That's what Tom Black in sales taught me. Feel, felt, found. You know, John, many of the customers that I've worked with in the past felt that exact same way that they wanted tangible results. What they felt was, and then you, you, you develop, gosh, I wish I could just come up with the top of my head. Sometimes I can't just come up with the top of my head on an objection like this. Ah, oh, pisses me off. But anyway, this is, an, this is, let me back up. This is an objection you're going to get. I would highly recommend that you develop a script on how to answer that question. I'm gonna, I am going to, here's what I want you to do, Allison. I want you to do another question, and all I want you to do on the question is say, I need help developing a script to a commonly asked objection about my services. Is there somebody here in the group that can help me? And then in the business description, give your context, okay? And then I'm going to get Tom Black to help you with this. He would be more than happy to help you with this, okay? That's what we're here for. I will talk to you soon, but that's what I would do. I would figure out how to become an expert at answering that question. I'm not an expert at that, sorry, but we're going to get you help, all right?